He has a beard and he has a mustache. He looks like dressed up in white. He is very bright. He is Heavenly Father's son. Jesus is a brother. He'd sacrifice a lot. Like tells us to care about other people. He'd like warn people about stuff like and make sure they're all safe because he cares about each one of us. Candle of faith, candle of faith, candle of faith is Let you and Jesus, we are your children, we are your children Make every steps with you And faith with hope and love We learn, we believe, we witness in Jesus Hello boys and girls, how are you today? Today we are going to learn lesson 3. The name of this lesson is the man who flees from God. This lesson is about how Adam and Eve disobeyed God. Do you guys know who Adam and Eve are? That's right, Adam and Eve were the first people God created. God loved Adam and Eve so much that he gave them many wonderful things. Are there some wonderful things God gave you? Yes, we have yummy foods, a nice house, and even toys and books to play with. God also gave us our friends, parents, and brothers and sisters. Do you guys thank God for these things? Good job, guys. Just like God gives us many blessings, God gave Adam and Eve a lot of blessings. God gave them many beautiful flowers, many delicious fruits, many different animals to play with. Adam and Eve lived happily with God in the place God gave them. Do you guys know the name of this place? Yes, it is the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve were allowed to eat any fruit in the whole Garden of Eden, but they were not allowed to eat from the tree of good and evil. This tree was in the middle of the garden. Do you guys think Adam and Eve are allowed to eat from this tree? Somebody was not happy that God and Adam and Eve were living happily together. Who might that be? Yes, you guys are right. It was Satan. Satan was jealous of Adam and Eve. Satan was a liar and a trickster. Do you guys know what he did? Yes, he turned into a snake and went to Eve. Satan took Eve to the tree of good and evil and told Eve to taste the fruit. Eve said that God told her not to eat the fruit, and if they did, they would die. Satan was mad. So he said that God was lying. Is God really lying? Yes, God did not lie. He was telling the truth. Satan told Eve that if she ate the fruit, she would be just like God. And we know that this is not true, right boys and girls? The snake kept on saying that the fruit was super tasty. What should Eve do? Should she eat the fruit or say no? Yes, Eve should listen to God and not eat the fruit. But what do you guys think Eve did? Eve thought the fruit looked delicious and she took it and ate it. Oh no, what did she do? Did she do the right thing? Yes, you guys are really paying attention. She did not listen to God. Then she took one more fruit and gave it to Adam. She told Adam that it was the tastiest fruit in the whole garden. Adam said no first, but then he also ate the fruit. So what did Adam and Eve do? Yes, Adam and Eve disobeyed God and his command. When they did this, 
they turned away from God and His love. They committed a sin. Do you guys know what a sin is? Sin is the bad stuff we do that makes God sad and makes us go away from Him. When we sin, we make God sad and we are going away from Him. When Adam and Eve sinned, it was called original sin. Everyone is born with original sin. But how do we get rid of this sin? We can get rid of this through baptism. Let's get back to the story. So God came back to the Garden of Eden to see Adam and Eve. God wanted to say hi to Adam and Eve and spend some time with them. But God could not find them. Where are Adam and Eve? Can you find them? Wow, I would have never found them without your help. After they disobeyed God, Adam and Eve were afraid of God. If you do something your parents told you not to do, how do you feel? Adam and Eve were scared, so they were hiding from God. God called Adam and Eve. Then Adam and Eve came to God. God asked them if they ate the fruit from the tree of good and evil. Did Adam and Eve eat the fruit? Wow, you guys have a great memory. God was upset because Adam and Eve disobeyed God. When we sin, we go far away from God. Sinning blocks us from God, and we don't want that, right? We can avoid sin by staying close to God and listening to Him. Do you guys know ways we can obey God and be closer to Him? Amazing! Those are some great examples. Here are a few of my examples. As an activity, let's write, I will obey God in five different colors. You guys can choose any colors you want. Now I have a question for you guys. Who are the people in your lives that you should obey? Yeah, we have to obey our parents, teachers, elders, priests, and most importantly, God. Now let's pray together. Have mercy on me, O God, and wipe away my sins with mercy. Psalms 51, 1. Let's make a decision together. Can you guys do that? Here we go. Together with me. I promise not to do things which my parents and teachers told me not to do. Good job. And don't forget to keep this promise. I have a question for you guys. Let's see if you are paying attention. What was the sin of Adam and Eve? Check the correct ones and cross out the wrong one. They forgot God. They said no to God's love. They obeyed God's commands. They disobeyed God. Good job. All of them were right except for they obeyed God's commandments. What happens when we sin? Do you guys know? Yes, when we sin, we move away from God and His love. Wow, you guys are very good today. Thank you for listening, and make sure to obey God and be good boys and girls.